the table. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Bubbles. Let's keep going. Did you hear that noise, Park Ranger B? Yeah, of course I heard it. I wonder where it came from. I think it came from your room. I'm gonna go check it out. Come on. Okay, let's go. Where's the noise? Where's the noise? Where's the noise? noise, noise, noise? Where are you? Noise. I know you're in here somewhere. No, no, no. Okay, do you see anywhere? No, see no, the source no, of the noise? Okay. no. Of course not. What's this? It, it looks like an incubator. Whoa. There's an incubator light, and there's a there's an egg, and it's hatched. Whoa. Wow. Dude, you've got a hatched egg in an incubator in your room. <gasps> Did you hear that? Oh, I don't know. Let's just go it's check it out. Let's what? go oh, check okay, it out. Okay, guys, so we should check it out with our new sleeping door blasters. Okay, okay, let's go. Super high power. Okay, all right. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. <gasps> Did you see that, man? That yeah. plant just went it's flying. flying. No. <gasps> it's a dinosaur. Yeah. There's a dinosaur in the house. Quick. Hi. Why in the couch? Okay. Okay, all right, are you all ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Come on, we're ready for you, dinosaur. Okay, hey, wait, wait. Why is there a dinosaur in the house, huh? Do you know what's going on here? Well, it all started the other day at the dino park. I found a dinosaur egg and I had an idea. All right, got the new hybrid herbivore dinosaur egg. Yeah, you're going straight to the little incubator in my room. Okay, so take a left. Okay, Eggy Weggy, you ready to be incubated? Okay, oh wait, let's flip it up first, then put the little Eggy Weggy in there, and then turn on the light. <gasps> oh no. There you go, ha. <laughs> oh, I better go set up the bins. Go. Yeah, and so I thought you might want another herbivore in the park, so that's why I brought you the egg. Well, yeah, that would have been a pretty cool surprise, but yeah. how are we going to find it now that it's loose in the house, huh? Oh, I got that covered. Follow me. Do you? Okay. Okay. Whee! Okay. Okay, so how are we going to find this mysterious dinosaur that's out there loose in the house that hatched from this egg here, huh? A flashlight? No. Wait, we, we don't need a flashlight. It's plenty bright in here today. Look at that. It's a black light. It's a black light? Yeah. Wait, well, what is a black light going to do? That just reveals things that are invisible. And, Dinosaur is not. Wait, it's not invisible, is it? No, 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 but its footprints are. It has invisible footprints? How does it have invisible footprints? Well, well, well. I use those two litter boxes right there, uh -huh. and it's full of invisible ink. Oh. So the dinosaur probably got out of there and walked through the invisible ink. Oh, okay. And so, like, its tracks are out there yeah. then, huh? I guess we'll just track it with a black light then? Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty good idea. It's a good way to keep tab tabs on it. Okay, well, let's go see if we can find it then, okay? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. <gasps> Which way did it go? It went that way, didn't it? Yeah. Fire up the okay. light there. Where are you, little Start scanning for footprints, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. Where oh, yeah. I found one! Oh, did you find one? Yeah, right there. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Looks like another it's going one. that way. Oh, another one! Ooh, okay. I think they are going that way, huh? Oh, no, they disappeared. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, no. Let's just keep going in the same direction. <gasps> another one! Hey, you know what? I know it's a baby and all, but I would have expected it a little wider from a triceratops. Oh, well. Hey, look. That's that basket that got tossed over earlier that we saw. Huh? Okay, yeah. Put that back, Put that back up there. Ow. All right, here we go. Okay. okay. Oh, oh ooh, look how bright ooh, wow, that one is yeah. there, man. And, oh! Okay. Hey, look. There's another one. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's going. One. And another oh. one. Look, it's heading up to the curtain right there. <gasps> it's moving! The curtain is moving! Yeah! <gasps> it's on the other side of that curtain right there, okay? You ready to get it? Yeah. Oh, no. What? We don't have our sleepy in our blasters. Oh, man, we forgot them. Oh, what? no. It's just a baby triceratops. How big and scary can it possibly be? I'm sure we can take it on by ourselves, okay? Yeah, Even without our sleepy dark blasters. Okay. Oh, it stopped moving. It did. You know what? I think it might have left. Yeah. Okay, we better go check. We know time for the sleepy dark blasters. Come on, let's go. Okay, the count of three. One, two, two three. <gasps> oh, huh? man, it's gone. <gasps> Look, the door. It's moving. 
Okay. He must have gone into the kitchen. Okay, we're hot on its trail now. Okay. You're it. Yeah, we don't have our sleepy dart blasters. Oh, or we're just sword. gonna have to try to get it without our sleepy darts. Okay. Okay, okay let's go. We ninja don't want to lose blades. it. Yeah, it's a good idea. We can use our ninja blades, I guess. Hold on. Ooh, I bet that hurt. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that again. Okay. <gasps> That's no Triceratops, baby! It's a raptor! It is a raptor, baby! Quick, hide! Over here! Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, that might be a baby raptor, but it still looks pretty mean. Okay, what are we gonna do, man? Okay, okay. So, we've got a raptor over there, and we don't have our sleepy dart blasters with us, we forgot. We gotta get rid of this raptor somehow. The Mega Dino Ray? Yeah, we can zap it to the new park. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll send it to Park B. That's a great yeah. idea. Okay, where's the Dino Ray, though? Oh, it's up there. Oh, man. No. It's up on the mantle. We have to go get it without that raptor spotting us. Oh, what are we going to do now, huh? Disguises? Disguises? Well, that's a good idea, but do you happen to have a disguise somewhere handy? Oh, I don't. Over there. A disguise? Yeah, these will go perfect. These. Hey, those are like little masks, huh? Yeah. Those could work. They look like dinosaurs. Yeah. Maybe they won't even see us. Okay. Okay, which one do you want? Uh, I'll take the raptor. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, there we go. Okay. Ah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's sneak over there. Okay. okay, let's go. Sure, the raptor's never going to spot us with these masks on, huh? Okay, yeah. Oh, there it is, right over there. Nothing to see yeah. here. Just a couple of friendly dinosaurs. Over okay, here. Just to get up the dino ray. Dino. Oh, okay. Okay. You can see it there? Okay. <gasps> freeze. Freeze or freeze, freeze. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. Get it. Okay. Shh. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Nice and easy. Real cool. Yeah, Raptor. Okay. 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 It worked, man. Great idea with the disguises okay, there. Let's huh? power this baby up. Yeah, fire that baby up there, huh? Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> yeah! It's not working. Okay. Why isn't it not working? Wait, does it have batteries in it? Oh, no. What? It doesn't have batteries. Just where are the batteries? Oh, man, where are they? Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, man, it's there on top of the fireplace. Oh, no. uh, okay. We'll just sneak over and we'll get the batteries, okay? okay? But you know what? I don't think that raptor's gonna fall for these disguises twice. Yeah. Okay, raptors are too clever. Okay, what can we do to disguise ourselves if we go over there? Mm -hmm. What can we use here? Ooh, I got an idea. Ooh, what? What? Yeah. Ooh, what's that? It's a mega bounce XL uh, giant bouncy ball. How's that gonna work? That's not really a disguise unless you're gonna but go inside the ball or something. We yeah. can hide behind it. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll put then. this on just in case. Okay, well, I guess okay. we're gonna blow it up, huh? <sighs> faster, faster, pump, faster, faster. Faster, faster, faster! Oh, you know what? Let me try. Okay, okay, fine. You try it. I'll hold the ball then, okay? Faster. She's not so easy, is it, huh? I think you're there. I think you got enough, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. All right, let's just connect this thing. Ooh, ah! there's our coming out. Shh, okay. You got the pin. Oh, yeah, there you go. Shh, oh, perfect. Shh, okay, man. Be quiet. I don't want that raptor to hear, okay? It's a pretty good bouncy ball, isn't yeah. it? Uh, yeah, it's a nice seat, too. Yeah, this is pretty cool, man. It's ah! a good exercise ball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? I don't think we can both hide behind this thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, one well, of us is going to have to go. Uh, you're too big. Yeah, I think I probably am too big there. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, you're going to go then. I'm going to go, and I'm going to use these just in case, Okay, too. Here yeah, I go. let me check. Okay, yeah, it's not paying attention. Go for it. Crouch down low. Easy now. Okay, yeah, hide behind the ball there. Yeah, there you go, like that. Take it easy now, Parker and Joe B. You're doing good. Doing good. You're almost to the batteries. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the raptor! Quick, get the batteries! Get out of there! Hurry, Parker! Okay. Hurry, 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 hurry! Shh. Okay, 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 you got it! You got it! Awesome! Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Let's All open six. this bad boy up. Okay. Get the batteries in there then. One in there. Here we go. One in there. Okay. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, here we go. We're gonna fire this bad boy up yeah. and send this raptor to part B. Yeah. Let's go for it. Ready? There we go. Here we go, Raptor! Yeah. We're going back to part B! Yeah. Hey, got it. Ooh, you sent that bad yeah. boy to part B, huh? Yeah. High five! Uh, uh. High five! Yeah. Uh, oh, it's the goggles it's there, okay? Bomb. Okay, hey, mm. let's go clean yeah, up the mess from the raptor, okay? Aww. Yeah. Okay, park ranger AJ, what do you think the biggest animal that's ever lived on a planet is? Do you think it's like a giant monkey or some kind of enormous blue-tailed squirrel? Probably a dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Like which kind? Maybe the Brachiosaurus? Could be. And that's what we're here today to find out. The biggest animal in the world? That's right. Why in the forest? This is not just any forest. This is the brrrr, the prehistoric forest. Well, that's convenient. I thought so. Go figure it out. Yep, the Stegosaurus. This dinosaur could be it. Yeah, he's pretty big. 30 feet long, 11,000 pounds. Ah, but I don't know. Still might be other contenders out there. Yeah. Judge! Who's that? Hey? Eh? You talk dino? <laughs> it's pretty big. Parasaurolophus. <laughs> it can grow to be up to 33 feet long. That's three feet bigger than the other dino. Huh. So, so far, this is the winner. Yeah. You know, this is a member of the duck bill dino family. I wonder if he speaks duck. <laughs> Nothing. All right. I bet there's bigger ones out there. Let's go see. Chud! 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 What's that? Euphalocephalus. Oh, yeah. Now, look, this is no bigger than the other dinos. But here's an interesting fact that these guys were so well protected that even the eyelids had armor. Well, I guess he's getting some pretty good shut eye. Wish I had thought of that joke. Judge! Judge! Do you hear that? Judge! Yeah, I did. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What's Chad? I don't know. All right. Good Triceratops! Oh, yeah! Now we know these. We got a bunch of them at T-Rex Ranch. Now, they're not the biggest, but they're certainly the heaviest. And the cutest. Look at him. Oh, yeah. He's certainly not the biggest. Paleontologists say these guys were the cows of the Cretaceous period. The cows? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it! <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you? Yeah. Again. Maybe someone or some something thing is trying to tell us something. Maybe Chad is what we're looking for. Maybe you're right. Well, let's keep looking. You didn't like the move? You should have told the other joke. Tyrannosaurus Rex! The king of the dinos. This could be it. I mean, it gets to be 40 feet long and 20 feet high. It weighs as much as four pickup trucks. This could be Chad. Yes, no, Chad. Oh, not Chad. How's it possible? What is Chad? Where is Chad? Who is Chad? By hook and by crook, we're going to go find out. Yeah. Excuse me, do you know what Chad is? Thanks, anyway. Excuse me, miss. Do you know where Chad is? Thank you very much.
this, Chad? A whale? That's the largest animal ever. Wow! Wait, but what about the Mesosaurus from Jurassic World? Well, that's not a dinosaur. That's a marine reptile. And that only grew up to be 50 feet long. Well, what about the Megalodon? Which is actually a shark. And that got up to be only 59 feet long. So this thing is twice as large. Holy cow! Yeah, I don't understand why it's so blue. Cheer up, you're so big. A hundred feet long! What? Wait a minute, it says he's got a hundred feet. I don't see any feet. He's a hundred feet long. Oh, well, that makes more sense. It says here its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant. Its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant? That's humongous, it's gonna be so heavy. So this is it? The biggest animal that's ever lived? And this is a small one, look. It's from a juvenile male. This is only 72 feet long compared to what it could be. It's not even fully grown. But they got one thing right. This is astonishing in every way. Wow. Chad, you've been calling us. We're so happy to find the answer to the largest animal on Earth. Yeah. Wait a minute. It says one of the loudest animals on Earth. Huh. I bet I could be louder. Okay, Bob. Halloween's over. It's time to go back inside. Go back out to T-Rex Ranch now, okay? Let's uh, get you all sorted here. Oh, hey, Park Ranger. What are you doing? Oh, hey, Park Ranger B. Oh, yeah, I was uh, just picking up all the Halloween decorations and the ornaments and putting Bob away here now that Halloween's oh, over. Oh, yeah! Halloween's over. Wait, speaking of Halloween, have you seen my bucket with Halloween candy in it? No. Your candy bucket? Yeah. With all your Halloween candy? Yeah, with all my Halloween candy. No, I haven't seen that anywhere. Did you lose it? Yeah. You lost it? Yeah. Oh, man, that's no good. Okay, well, hey, wait a minute. So what's up with the camera there, huh? Oh, yeah, my camera here. So I'm going to make a video for the Junior Park Rangers how to find dinosaur tracks, and if they do find a dinosaur track, which they do. Oh, that's a great idea, dude. Yeah, like when there's new park rangers around or whatever, they need to yeah. know how to be a park ranger, right? Okay, that's a yep. good idea. You need any help with that? No, thanks, I'm good. Okay, well, you go make your video. I'll get Bob taken care of here, okay, then, okay? bye, park ranger. Right. Okay, Bob, let's go for it. Huh? Let's go put you back inside. Okay, park rangers, step one is find a dinosaur track. So we have to look around for dinosaur track. Maybe it's under the tire here. No. Over here, no. No. You have to keep looking. Wait a minute. You have to use your magnifying glass. So, let me get out my magnifying glass. Open it up. Like that. Okay, yeah, here it is. My magnifying glass. This will definitely work. Okay, look over here. No, that's not dinosaur footprint, that's just some dirt. That's gross. Okay, hmm, this is starting to be a bit strange. I can't find any today. Over uh, there, no, over there, no. Oh, uh, maybe over there. <gasps> Aha, I found some, right there, wow. I found some, yoo-hoo. Wait a minute, now we have to do step two, identify. So. And again, we have to open up your backpack and get out your handy Dino Tracks pocket guide. See? Okay, let's open it up. Let's see, what is it? I think it might be a T Rex. No way. Here, let's compare it to see what it is. T Rex. Yeah, it has to be a T Rex. But it can't be, because. His footprint's too small. Maybe it's our baby. Oh, I think we finally found it. Okay, put that in the, wait a minute. Oh yeah, I almost forgot all about step three, park rangers. You need the proper protection if you're chasing a dinosaur. Okay, so, oh yeah. Close it up, like that, like that. Put on your pack pack. Grab your sleepy dart blaster and your cat. Wait a minute, I'm holding three things. Aha, there we go. Put in my armpit. Oh man, hopefully I, hopefully I don't shoot my sweat out. Wait a minute. Whoa, another dinosaur track. 
Ooh, wow. Oh, another one. Okay, here comes another one. And another one. No, not another one. Where's another one? Huh. Wait a minute, maybe they went in the grass. That's it, yeah, the grass. Let me stand up now. Mm -hmm. Okay, T-Rex, you think you're so smart running away? I'm gonna get you, because Park Ranger will be straight on your tail. Okay, so in the tree, no. Oh, maybe in the dirt pit here? No, um, man, T-Rex, why'd you have to do this to me? No, maybe around the tree? No, over here? No, up the tree, no, no. Ah! Oh, it's just a dead part in the tree. Bye-bye. <laughs> Maybe over there, no. Oh, wait a minute, there's footprints in the backyard. And the gate's open too. That only means, ha Okay, there's a crack here. Okay. Okay, T-Rex, gonna get you now. Oh, whoa, man, there's a mother of T-Rex footprints here. Whoa, fresh too. Okay, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Okay, that really worked. Man, T-Rex really did a number on this paper towel rack. Woo, that's like the cat except time 10. Whoa, Ma wait a minute. Wait a minute. It leads that way. Okay, T-Rex, I got you now. Whoa. Okay, Park Rangers, this is the most dangerous part. Okay, look out, Park Rangers, I can just smell T-Rex. No! No, my pizza! Man, three days in a row now I have to eat PB&J. Man, whoa, look at all these scratch marks. Whoa, I can even stick my finger through them. Oh, no, my finger's stuck. Ah! Oh, I got it out. Okay. Hmm, I can smell T-Rex close by. Okay, park rangers. This is the most dangerous part, so you go first, okay? Okay, yeah, you go first, park rangers. There's T-Rex, and he's eating all my Halloween candy. Oh, man, T-Rex. And hide. Oh, oh man, this isn't right. I worked so hard for that Halloween candy. Oh, oh, oh. And so cold. <sighs> Trick or treat. <laughs> we saw you earlier. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, cool, I got a bunch of Kit Kats, Snickers, and a, whoa! Oh, I thought that was a step there, so. Oh, cool, look at that. Look at what? Whoa, chugga, chugga, what? What? We're out of candy. I guess they didn't want any more people. That's that. Next house. Ha ha! Free candy. Aha. At least it's a bit warmer on this porch. Yeah, but where's the candy? I don't know. Oh, trick or treat! Uh, okay, Park Rangers. I'm done daydreaming now. That's what a naughty T Rex looks like. Okay, T-Rex, I think you've been eating enough junk food now. First the pizza, now the candy. 
And anyway, I don't even eat that much in one day, you know? So, you're gonna have to go home now, T-Rex, you know? That's how you do it, Park Ranger. Wait a minute, he's not going home. Okay, I'll make him go home. Oh, he's not gone yet. Okay, one last one. Yeah, I got him! He's walking away! Woohoo, I think we did it, Park Rangers! Or, I did it! Woohoo! Yahoo, happy dance! Woohoo! Oh, I better see if there's some candy left. Okay, Park Rangers, let's see what's left. Uh, anything in here? In here? No. Oh, all that's left is this dirty Tootsie Roll. Ugh. What? That sounded like the mommy! Wait a minute, it is the mommy! Oh no, I'm gonna need backup for this one by Park Ranger Aaron. Okay, Park Rangers, rule number one of running a dino park. If in doubt, roar! Ah, oh. ah. Ow, that hurt. <coughs> Got it. Ha. The new and improved Mega ATV Inator is all done. And I gotta work on the name though. Man, look at this thing. It has the awesome flare there, and the cool T-Rex Ranch logo in the front, and all my darts everywhere, and my Mega Lunchbox! It even has the Shrink Ray and the Mega Dino Ray! Man, this thing is so cool! And I think it's about time to take it out for a spin. Okay, here we go. Hat go off. Helmet go on. Go. Okay, let's get going. Okay, Mr. Triceratops, here comes Mr. Raptor. He's gonna get you. <laughs> and Mr. Carnivore defeats the herbivore again. <laughs> Uh-oh. Park Ranger will be. Whoa! Whoa! Park Ranger Aaron's calling me on my walk to touch. Yeah, go ahead, Park Ranger Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the paddock fence power sources has failed. Now the entire paddock fence is down. What? The paddock fence has failed? Which one is it? Yeah, it looks like it could be the Stegosaurus paddock. Uh, but you know, it could be the paddock fence that's shared with the T-Rex paddock, so. Uh, I don't get. I have to be careful. I need you to come back to Dino HQ right away and get a new power source, okay? Okay, I'm on my way. Come on, new and improved ATV. We have some new and improved work to do. Oh. Where's he going? What's he going up on the road for? Oh wait. Oh, here he goes. Uh oh, the signal's breaking up there. Okay, it's back, it's back, good. Whoa, okay, here we go. Whoa, ah, 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 oh man, phew, oh no, my engine died. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, there we go. Woo, woo, ah, oh, no, my mega lunch box. Oh. Yeah, this is it. Ha! Okay. Oh no. Oh. 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 Oh no, my 
gonna make a lunch box fell off. Park by now. We're going into the woods, Park Ranger LB. Whoa. Okay. Oh no. I'm entering the stegosaurus pattern. Better beware. Okay, around that corner. Of a mission. Okay. Yeah. Hey, little stegosaurus! That's what you get for going in my path. Now you're a little bitty little stegosaurus, instead of a big old dino. Okay, let me put you in my backpack and I'll put you back later, okay? Okay, let's put you in there. There we go. Oh, yeah, I don't touch that restarter. Okay, here we go. <sighs> yeah. today. Yeah, 
Gotta go ahead, Park Ranger Harry. Hey, it looks like the paddock fence is back up. It's not flashing anymore here on the map. Oh yeah, just in the nick of kind of time. I had to zap T-Rex back in using the Mega Dino Ray. Wow, man, that was an awesome adventure. Hey, that's great work, man. You did an awesome job getting that thing fixed like that. Why don't you go ahead and come on back to Dino HQ, okay? Okay. I can't do that just yet. I still have to enlarge the Stegosaurus. I kind of shrunk down earlier. Stegosaurus? Yeah, it's a long story, but just to make it short, I'm going to go zap it. Woohoo! Okay. Spiky Wikey, come on out, man. Ha, <sighs> okay, oh no, sorry. Oh. Okay, here we go, Spike. Okay, Rosie, time to test yourself and see if you have the Park Ranger Pledge fully memorized. <laughs> On my honor, I will do my best to one, always seek out adventure, two, never stop inventing, three, always keep exploring, and four. Oh yeah, four, never give up. Gosh, I'm good. <gasps> Park Ranger Andy, what happened? <gasps> Oh, Park Ranger Rosie, you won't believe the morning I had. Which I will describe to you in detail after these messages. So here's what happened. I was out doing my post first breakfast gardening when all of a sudden, a big gust of wind blew a piece of paper right in my kisser. It seemed to be a map of T-Rex Ranch leading to a buried treasure. I followed the map with perfect precision using my considerable navigational skills and my expert knowledge of the park and its subtle landmarks to forge the most efficient and direct path to the treasure. If you saw me out there, you probably would have thought I looked graceful and strong, like an Allosaurus on a hunt. This map was a tricky one, full of riddles and visual puzzles, but using my powers of deductive reasoning that I've learned in all my years as a park ranger, I discovered the secret way of reading this map. And then I found the hidden cave. I ran some tests to determine the depths of the cave. Now, being the brave park ranger that I am, I wasn't at all nervous about exploring the dark, empty cave all by myself. Not at all. After exploring for hours and moving impossibly large boulders, I remembered that I had already found this treasure a few months back. Oh. It had been left there by T-Rex Ranch Rangers years ago. So it turns out I was looking for a treasure that I had already found. <laughs> Silly old me. Hang on, what did you find? Nothing, just a big old empty cave with a big old landy at the end of it. No, I mean the treasure you found months ago. What was it? Oh, let me introduce you to the Boom Boom Whistle. The Boom Boom Whistle? Oh yeah, it comes in very handy when you're being chased by a dinosaur. You see, you turn around and you blow the whistle and then the dino immediately has to stop and go poop. Ew. Tell me about it. But wait, what do you mean Park Rangers left the whistle there years and years ago? Oh, well, for as long as T-Rex Ranch has been around, Park Rangers have buried treasure for future rangers to find. It's a T-Rex Ranch tradition. Really? Like what kind of stuff? Oh, sometimes a gadget or a, a dino toy or ancient relic from the past. But that doesn't explain why you're all dirty, covered in twigs and leaves. Oh yeah, well, that's the second part of the story. While I was making my way back to dino headquarters, I was so exhausted from all that exploring that I accidentally wandered into the raptor trails. Oh yes, the raptor trails. I was hoping he wouldn't see me as I was using my expert camouflage skills. But then my alarm went off reminding me to feed the baby dinos. It alerted the raptors. They looked up, they looked at me, they zeroed in on me. They came running towards me. 
I knew my goose was cooked. They lunged from the left. They lunged from the right. And I don't even want to have lunch together. They wanted to eat me for lunch. I spotted some bushes and I ran and I dove just in the nick of time. And the raptor <laughs> ran right past me. And I waited and waited until a post was finally clear. And thus ends the extraordinary story of how I got dirt on my face and more twigs in my hair than usual. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go wash the dirt off my face, remove said hair twigs. And so for now, I bid you adieu. Vicky, I should bury a treasure for future park rangers to find. Time to pack this treasure chest full of super cool stuff. First, a handwritten note reminding Future Park Rangers just how awesome it is to be part of a small secret group of people who know dinosaurs still exist. Next, a spare monkey talkie gadget that can make Future Park Rangers sound like anyone they want. I love Brexit burgers so much! That's why I eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I even eat them for meals between the meals. Brunch, dinner, and then fast. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder what else I should put in. Buy 100 Rexa burgers, get one free? Psh, that's crazy! No one in their right mind would eat 100 burgers just to get one free. This is going in the chest. And now, it's time to bury my treasure. Hmm. Can't bury it near the picnic tables. Too many park rangers around. Gigantosaurus Gulch is nice and secluded. Seems like a great place to bury treasure. <gasps> I'm small Gigantosaurus, but I think that means I should find another place for my treasure. Bye! <laughs> Stegosaurus Mountain. Perfect. Whoever wants my treasure will have to climb to one of the tallest peaks in T-Rex Ranch to find it. Time to dig. What in the wide world of dinos could that be? A dog toy? That's not the best place to bury a treasure. Gosh, this is way harder than I thought. Maybe I should give up. No! What am I saying? Number four on the Park Ranger Pledge. Never give up. Time to keep searching. Even if I am getting a little tired. This is it, the perfect place to bury treasure. Even I don't know where I am. Oh well, time to start digging. No, 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 Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Water, I need water. Better. Park Ranger Andy, what are you looking for? I'm looking for my buy 100 Rex of burgers, get one free punch card. I only had one burger left. Um, I have some good news and some bad news. Actually, scratch that. Just bad news. I might have put your Rex burger punch card in a treasure chest and buried it. Okay, okay, but uh, 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 but, but, I had eaten all of those burgers, and it took me almost two whole days to do it. Oh. I'm so sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I just thought it'd be a nice surprise for future Park Rangers. But, I know just where I buried it, so we'll go and get it back now. Really? Yes, 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 please. Let's go. So more 
heard good news, bad news. Actually, scratch that. Just bad news. I forgot where I buried the treasure. <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. I was so tired from trying to find the perfect place to bury it that I forgot to make a map. I'm sorry, Park Ranger Andy. We're probably never gonna find your Rex Burger punch card. Aw, oh, don't beat yourself up, Park Ranger Rosie. It's gotta be around here somewhere, and we are gonna sniff it out. Oh yeah, I am highly motivated. Hey, yeah, you're probably right. Let's go find that treasure. Let's go. I think this is it! This fresh batch of dirt over here! Alright, let's get digging! I hit something! <gasps> we found it! <gasps> oh! Oh, my sweet, sweet punch card! Oh, I miss you so much! <laughs> I'm sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I won't take your stuff without asking ever again. Oh, it's okay, Park Ranger Rosie. In fact, I think it's high time I put this punch card to good use. Really? Absolutes! How about you and me make our way down to Rex a Burger and I buy my 100th burger, which makes Burger 101 for you, not me. But you worked so hard for that free burger. After the day we had, I think we both deserve a burger. Maybe two. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing like a juicy Rexa burger at the end of a very long, long day. You can say that again. I think we wandered into the raptor trails again. Or that raptor just smells our delicious burgers and wants them for himself. Okay, that leaves us two options. One, we eat our burgers real quick and then run. Or two, we just run. I prefer option one, but I don't want to influence your decision. Actually, there's a third option. <gasps> Good idea, Park Ranger. <laughs> Ew. I don't think I'm so hungry for my Rexa burger anymore. No, that's a shame. I'll take care of that for you. And uh, let's walk around, huh? It's dinosaurs versus army men. Three, two. Hey. I just wondered what was in that door. Yeah, let me go check it out. Whoa! It's like a weird vortex thing. It's like a portal. Whoa! Oh, I don't want to do that. Here, I got my own stunt man. Okay, let's see if it can be safe for me to go in there. Three, two, one. Hey, Park Ranger OB, man, what you doing? You playing army men and dinosaurs? Yeah, but you might see I don't have any dinosaurs. What happened, man? <gasps> What's this? It's like a weird vortex doorway. It's like a portal or something. Yeah, huh? I threw my dinosaur in there and now it disappeared. Okay, well, sorry, your dinosaur's I gotta gone. gotta go in there. No, no, you don't need your dinosaur there. Oh, no. You gotta go get him. Okay, this does not look good. Ah! Oh, wow, I thought Park Ranger LB was here. Man, I need to get some lunch, wait. What's in that little door? That's open. Maybe they went in there. Hey, Park Ranger. You in there? What is this place? Man, I don't know what time I'm in. Or if I'm even in a different dimension. Hey, looky over there. That looks cool. Oh, 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 
Park Ranger B, man, where'd you go? Park Ranger B. Where are we? Wow. Oh, hey, Park Ranger B, come back, man. Come back. Wow, what is this place? Hey, Park Rangers, where are you? Man, that's a real crammed little. Park Rangers, hey, hold up. Where are we? Look at this place. Looks like the jungle I dreamed about last night. Park Ranger oh, B, oh. what are you doing, man? Well, you just went through that look at this. portal thing. It looks like the place in my dream last night. Man, and... come on, man, we gotta get out hey, of here. Yeah, Park Rangers. Oh, oh. Despicable, Despicable G, Why you what are you doing away? here? Well, I, I thought you were going for lunch, so. You can stand uh, up now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were going for lunch, so uh, I decided to follow you. We're not going for lunch. We're here looking for his dinosaur toy, yeah. but we're not going to look for it because something gives me a bad feeling. Yeah, we have place. to. I'm going to go no, find Park it. Park Ranger come back, man. Are we going to eat something now? Wee! Park Ranger Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Fine. We'll go look for your toy and we'll see if we can find it, okay? Okay. But we can't be out here in this strange place without our sleepy dart blasters. Oh, we don't have one, though. Yeah, I know. We came through without those. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's look around and see if we can't find something to use, okay? Hey, is this the way to the food? Y yeah, I'm sure there's some food along the way. But go see if you can find something to, to work as, uh, in case we run into something scary, okay? okay? Let's, let's all split, split up. up. See if we can figure I'll it out. I'll go this okay. way. I don't think this is a... You go that way, Despicable G. All right, dude. <laughs> okay. Something to act for as a defense. Uh, this way. That way! Oh, that'll be all right. Hey, will this do? Ooh, this. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> That'd be perfect, okay, let's go. Hey, look, Park Lane JLB. Look, look what I found, huh? Look what I found. Oh, awesome. Hey, I've got a candlestick holder. There's no candle in it, man. Yeah. Oh, well. What are you going to use that thing for, huh? Yeah. Well, I can just, I'll think of something. What is it? Oh, yeah, look what I found, huh? The only thing that thing's good for is to grill some sausages. Oh, yeah, you could use, no, man, it's not for grilling. This is my shield, OK? Oh, so you can go like this. Yeah, OK, wait, wait, wait a minute. What is that? Yeah, what's up with the stick? Oh, you know, it's a poke. Yeah, I guess that'll work. All right. All right, let's go see if we can find your toy dinosaur. Though, OK, right? let's go. I think it might be that way. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, be careful, Park Ranger will be pretty dense jungle here, huh? Yeah. Oh, hey. You need to be more careful there. Oh, sorry about that, Despicable G. Oh, man, how are we supposed to get across this river? Oh, no. It's a stream, man. Yeah. Oh, that's too wide. I, I, I think we should go back and get something to eat. We can't give up now. We're too hey. deep into the jungle. What? Ow. Hey, it's a little bridge here. Sort of. It's just like a fallen log that's fallen over. Let me go first, okay? Okay. Let me go first. Then I'll go. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's not right there. Uh, Park Ranger Aaron? <laughs> oh. Whoa, that okay. was a close one there, My wasn't turn. it? No, I don't think you should try Park Ranger B. It was kind of, it's kind of slippery right there. You're going to end up in the water, man. Okay. Here, I'll hold it steady for you, okay? <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Whoa. All right. You may Ooh, you almost went in. Okay, Despicable G, can you make it? You know there's a different way how to get around here. Yeah. All right. We made it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, oh, wait, guys. We could have just gone that way. I wasn't scared. You weren't scared at all, huh? Okay. Did you hear that noise? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that may have been me. I'm really hungry. Are we going to get something to eat? Man, okay, uh, we'll look for something. 
It's just Despicable G's tummy. Let's go this way and see if we can find some food. Let's find your dinosaur, okay? Okay. I wonder where these stairs go. They go up. Let's go. Well, duh. Of course they do. Look at all the apatosauruses. Apatosauruses? Yeah, sorry, I said that's glowing. what I said. Yeah, I know. I've never seen glowing dinosaurs before. Yeah, it looks like lots. Just yeah. like the ones in my dream last night. Hey, you know what? I think maybe we need to get on and get out of here and find your dino toy. Okay, okay. Come on, let's go. yeah. Well, look at this leaf. This shouldn't be here. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, look. It's a lake. Hey, Whoa. lunch. Lunch? Huh? No, it's a lake, not lunch. I'm going fishing. I'm going to make fishing. a fishing no, rod. No, Despicable G, we don't have time to go fishing. Yeah. He doesn't even have a fishing rod. How's he going to go yeah, fishing? I don't know. Okay. So you don't think this plant belongs here? No, I mean, look at the size of it compared to a regular one. Hey, Despicable G, no, man, we don't have time to go fishing yeah, right now. Yeah, no, oh, no. Man, you're not going to catch anything with that fishing rod, no. okay? Yeah. We're going to eat shortly. Look. It's huge. Despicable G, look. Get out of there, get man. Get out of there. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Come on, let's go. Run! Go run! Oh, man, just what we need, a fork in the road. Oh, yeah, you're right. Which way do we go, left or right? I don't know. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what that was. All right, you think we should go left or do we go right? Uh, well, you know, if we went left, it kind of looks like it's... Wait, I thought that was right oh, left. Oh, you have some thoughts on it, Spigable G? Yeah, I think we should go this way. This way? Okay, let's go then. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, man, this looks steep. It's a T-Rex and a Stegosaurus battling! It is! Yeah! Ooh, ooh, we better get down and hide, okay? My toy! It is your toy! Yeah! There's a baby Stegosaurus guarding it over there. It must think that it's a baby dinosaur. Okay, we gotta come up with a plan to get over there and get it, okay? Mm. Okay, how about, uh, I know, the old Indiana Jones switcheroo, you know? What? We take something that looks like the dinosaur toy and we swap it out real quick and you'll never know. Oh. Good idea, huh? Yeah. I've got an idea. Why are you all up in my grill, huh? Give me that stick. Let me have a look at that stick of yours. Right. Oh, there you go. What are you gonna do with the stick? String? Stick? What's he doing? Fishing again. Fishing? Now's not a time to go fishing, Despicable G. Yeah, wait, we need I think a I know dinosaur. What he's doing. He might be getting a fish. Fish? What? Oh, oh what? How Look did he at do that. that so fast? Took some origami classes. Origami? Isn't that paper? Paper? Okay. Anyway, that looks like a pretty cool little toy dinosaur replica, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, I tell you what, I'll sneak over there with this little dinosaur replica. And I'll do the swapperoo and I'll sneak out. Okay. okay. That, but that lizard's gonna see you. I know. Yeah. I'll use this as my cam. That's not gonna work very good for camouflage. The dinosaur's gonna see me. Can I see that? I yeah. Idea. Okay. Oh. Where are you going, Park Ranger OB? Look out for that T Rex and the Stegosaurus I'm battle. Back. Oh, hey, man. Oh, wow. You Look also did origami classes. No, I did sewing. Sewing? Okay. You don't you do sewing with a thread? No, I used the leaves. Okay. All right. So here's my camouflage, and here's. My swapperoo dinosaur. I'm ready to go in, okay? Wait, wait. What? Won't that fall over? Yeah, you're right. What's gonna hold this thing up? Oh, man. Our plan is ruined. Why don't you just stand it in there? It just might work. Yeah. Oh! The candle holder saves the day. Here we go. Y'all keep me covered from okay. behind, okay? Yeah, we got you. All right. Mm. I don't think it sees me, okay? It looks like that lizard's coming towards him. Shh, not so loud. I got an idea. Oh, oh. oh. oh no, it's coming towards me. That's working. It's working. Good it's day. going away. But it's coming towards us now. Run. Run. Let's get out of here. Stop the train, Run! I need my toy. Here, here, Hurry up. Here, here. I need here. a toy. Here, there you go. Let's get it. Yeah. Crazy. Do me 
many of those strange lizards yet. Bug spray? Check. Jurassic bug spray? Check. Walkie talkies? Check. Firewood? Check. And now for a very important security item. Thanks, Spike. No need to tell Park Ranger Andy about this, okay? You're not the only secret in this tent, right, Sneeka? That's it. You still got a park ranger, Andy? You have now put up this tent exactly 200 times. <sighs> put this up 200 times and this happens every time. Hey, park ranger Asher, how you coming with your tent? Come on over. <laughs> What? What? Uh, how? Uh, when? It's my new tent. You like it? Uh, yeah, it's all right. Come check on the inside. There's an inside too? Oh, how? Hey, Park Ranger Asher, did you bring a suitcase camping? Don't worry. It's filled with very important camping supplies. Very important camping supplies. What? How'd they get in there? Mm-hmm. Well, at least we got the firewood kindling. Ew, why is the firewood kindling all wet? Oh, I washed them. Good gravy, man. Why? So I wouldn't get my suitcase dirty. Oh, that makes sense. But you know what? That is what camping is all about. Getting a little dirty, reconnecting with nature, and earning your courageous camper badge. I'm ready. Just tell me what I need to do. Forage edible berries? Poison's plant identification? All great ideas, Park Ranger Asher, but to earn your courageous camper badge, you must make the perfect s'more. That's not fair. What if it's perfect for me and not for you? Park Ranger Asher, the perfect s'more is undeniable, which means I'll know it when I taste it. Um, we might not get the chance. Yeah. Where'd all the marshmallows go? Uh, here's what we do. You forage in your bags for some other marshmallows, and I am going to go get us some dry firewood kindling. Out in the very scary, scary dark. In that case, you might need a lantern. Good idea. Ah! There's something out there. And just in case, something to protect yourself. Okay, or just in case. Keep an eye out for baby dinos. Yeah, of course I will. I mean... I mean, what do you mean? The baby dinos are all at Dino headquarters, no? Um, yeah. Oh, good. Then I wasn't suspicious at all. <laughs> I never knew it would be so hard to find sticks in the woods. In the dark, dark woods. Ah! What was that? Where was that? You know what? There are too many dinos everywhere. Ah! I hope our Granger Asher's having a better time finding marshmallows than we are finding sticks. <gasps> Look! Sticks! <laughs> Perfect. And they're dry. Hmm. There's gotta be some more marshmallows in here somewhere. Oh, 
safely back to camp. And now it is time for us to make a campfire. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Oh, uh, Park Ranger Asher, is that you? Uh. Like to you. Oh, it's like this big, but but even bigger. And it's got these giant red glowing eyes. <laughs> Maybe. And, uh... ah! I'll tell you more inside. Wait for me. <laughs> Relax, Park Ranger. It's probably just one of our T Rex dinos. Oh, yeah. That's some good thinking. I'm sorry for overreacting. <laughs> spare marshmallows. Park Ranger Andy, I think I found your dino ghost. <laughs> you can come out now, it's all safe. I can't. Why not? Uh, I think I'm stuck in a sleeping bag. Park Ranger Andy, this is like the 200th time. That's what I call the perfect s'more. I'll be the judge of that. Does that mean I get the courageous camper badge? Maybe, but I should try one more s'more, just to be sure. <laughs> I think she said you have to share your s'mores. Maybe we could split it? Fine. Oh, Sneaka. Ranger Asher. Birthday wishes weren't invented back in a prehistoric era, so it is our job to throw a birthday celebration for all our dinos that they won't soon forget. Well, at least not until the next ice age. Okay, but this time, let the dino blow out the candle, not you. What have I ever done that? Again, Park Ranger's honor. There's a birthday brachiosaurus right now. So, how old is he? Oh, he's uh, 65 million years. Now let's go wish this Brock a happy birthday. From all of us. 
Ask a T-Rex Ranger gonna do a birthday dance. Go, Asher. Go, Asher. Go, Andy. Go, Andy. Go, both of us. Go, both of us. And now, a birthday cupcake. <gasps> Don't blow it out! Let the diver do it! But what if he can't blow out the candle? How is he going to make a birthday wish? Oh, he blew it out! What do you think he wished for? Oh, I bet he wished he was king of the dinos! That's what I'd wish for! I guess we'll never know. Oh yeah, we'll never know. Why do you sound so suspicious? Another successful birthday dino celebration in the books. The next one is tomorrow. You think the Tyrannodons are like chocolate cupcakes or hazelnut? Definitely hazelnut. I'm almost done with the update on my dino since I got. Do you want to go test it out? Roar! Give me a chance. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You can't test the dino translator without any dinos. Anything on the Dino Tracker? Dino Tracker? <laughs> I have something better than the Dino Tracker. Where did those come from? Rexa Burger. It turns out their fries are the perfect Dino bait and the perfect Andy bait. Watch. Yeah, Dino, 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 Dinos! Get your fries! Dino, 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 Dinos! Are you sure you want to do that? You could have checked the wrong kind of Dino. Yeah, but which ones? Like those! I don't know, but they sure seem to be in a hurry for some reason. Maybe the dino translator knows. Brachiosaurus Rex. Run. Huh, that doesn't sound right. Play it back again. Brachiosaurus Rex. Run. Ah, Gorgon Lady. Run! Okay, okay. Uh, now, I have a theory, and that is that my theory was correct. That the Brachiosaurus wished that he was a T Rex for his birthday. So, if that's true, how do we fix it? Well, so glad you asked. The only way to reverse a birthday wish is to blow out another birthday candle and make an unwish, which means that we have to throw another birthday party. Exactly. I'll get the decorations. Oh, and some more fries. Ah, look at that. Perfection. So, where's the birthday guest of honor? Uh, he's about a quarter of a mile behind me. I mean, he may think he's a T-Rex, but he's got the body of a very large, very slow dinosaur. <gasps> there he is! From all of us at T-Rex Ranger, gonna do a birthday dance! Go, Asher! Go, Asher! Go, Andy! Go, Andy! Go, both of us! Go, both of us! And now... A cupcake for you! Oh, he blew out the candle! Huh, what do you say? Use the Dino Translator. Right. Brachiosaurus Rex, run. Well, we knew that already. Maybe it's stuck. Try turning it on and off again. Translating. I am King of Dinos. <laughs> Get out of my way, you puny humans. That's not good. And we've only got one cupcake left. How do we get him to blow it out and reverse the birthday wish? I don't know, but we gotta get him to want to go back to being a Brachiosaurus. <gasps> but how? T-Rexes love the thrill of a chase. So we'll give him something to hunt. Oh, yeah, like a timid triceratops or sickly stegosaurus. Or a couple of brave park rangers. That's our cue! Hit it!
think it's time for a cupcake, Park Ranger Asher. Well, actually, if the Brachiosaurus thinks it's a T-Rex, then it probably won't be interested in a cupcake. I see what you're thinking. Yeah, follow me. Uh, you know, those T-Rex treats look delicious. Please don't eat any of them. No, oh, I won't. They don't taste as good as they look. Oh. Ooh, doesn't sound happy. This food smells disgusting. I would like a cupcake after all. Park Ranger Randy, cupcake please. Well, you know about that. Park Ranger Randy? Look, I guess I might have eaten it. But that was from the Pachysaurus. We did all that work for nothing? I know. It's kind of nuts. <gasps> Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. Nuts and berries especially picked for this hungry and tired plant eater. Brilliant. Now, let's add a candle. Ready? Couldn't be more ready. OK, light the candle. But this time, remember, no more blowing out other dinos' candles. Roger, Park Ranger. Here we go! Happy, Happy birthday! The candle's blown out! I wish I was a Brachiosaurus again. Wait, did it, Park Ranger? Well, it was mostly me, but since you drove the T Rex one, I guess I'll give you a little credit. Hey, wait a minute, the nuts and berries were my idea. Fair enough. What's your favorite dinosaur to feed? Well, I like the Stegosaurus because it's so gentle and it eats the veggies right out of your hand. How about your least favorite dinosaur to feed? Oh, I've got to say the raptors. They look at you with those claws like your dinner. Yeah, and I feel like if they ate you, they would burp after. Rude and scary. Mm. That's why I brought us here to the Ojai Raptors. Oh, raptors! It's okay, it's okay. We're going to learn. We're going to learn about raptors today, and we're going to learn maybe how to take care of them for when we go back to T-Rex Ranch. Okay. All right? Yeah. It's fine. Let's go. Hi. Hi, Park Ranger Andy. Hi. This is Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. I'm Jacqueline from the Ojai Raptor Center. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a wildlife rehabilitation facility. We specialize in wildlife, but raptors specifically. And we take in about a thousand injured, sick, and orphaned raptors a year. And as wildlife rehabilitators, our main goal is to make them well again and release them back to the wild where they belong. Back into the wild? All those raptors? Out in the wild? Um, yeah, birds of prey. Oh, oh right! right. Birds. birds! Of course you're of talking course. about birds, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, we know you're not talking about dinosaurs. Yeah, That'd be ridiculous no if you're talking about dinosaurs. You can't yeah. release them out in the wild. They'd have to be in like a ranch or something. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't exist though, right? Right. So yeah, we consider owls, hawks, falcons, eagles, and vultures here. We consider all of those birds to be raptors. So actually, we're getting into our busiest season here in all of wildlife rehabilitation where we receive lots of babies that have been separated from their parents. Usually their nests have been destroyed and they need to be raised by people in captivity. But we have to make sure that they maintain their natural fear of humans in order for them to be successful once we release them back to the wild. So we have to make sure they don't become too comfortable with humans or see humans as their friends or anything. So 
we cover our features, we disguise ourselves, and we feed them actually with a fake owl so they never get too used to humans. Do you guys want to help me feed the orphans? Yeah, yeah. I love playing dress up. Okay, here are your suits. So you're gonna put these on because again, these are not pets, these are wild animals, and we have to make sure that the baby owls don't get used to seeing people. So we're gonna put these on to disguise our features, and then we're gonna go feed the baby owls little pieces of food because they're too young to eat by themselves. Okay. This will be easy peasy. Yeah. Okay, Ranger AJ, you look like you're all set. You got your G-Lay suit on. Yes. Ready to go inside the hospital and feed? Yeah. Okay, we have to make sure that we're very, very quiet when we go inside the hospital, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'll be right behind you. And I'll be really quiet. So some of our birds are unfortunately not releasable to the wild and we train them to become ambassadors for their species. So would you like to meet some of our non-releasable ambassador raptors? I would love to. I'd love to see yeah. something. I can't see anything. Hi, AJ. Hi, Andy. Hi. I'm Kimberly here with our ambassador brewing, Elle Topper. Hi, Topper. Hi, Topper. Baby? No, actually, he's full grown. He's about seven years old. As with dinosaurs, raptors come in all shapes and sizes. And as a matter of fact, about half of the owls in North America are small owls, like topper or even smaller. His eyes just pierce right through your soul. I know, his eyes are pretty amazing, right? All raptor eyes are pretty amazing. Amazing. I've never seen that color yellow on an eye before. And actually, some of the things in his eyes are related to why we have Topper. What do you mean? So, well, with all of our ambassadors, they can't survive in the wild. That's why they live with us as ambassadors. And Topper came to us after having a head injury, and he has some damage to his eyes as well. That's why he can't survive in the wild. So he's a owl? Yes, he is. What's that mean? Well, although we think of most birds and most owls living mostly in the sky or up high in trees, these guys spend most of their life on the ground and they actually nest underground. Although these guys are a predator like other raptors, the small raptors are both predator and prey. So basically anything big enough to hunt him, including other raptors, will hunt them. They're also endangered by dogs, feral cats, raccoons, and snakes. So they actually have a super cool way to help protect themselves from predators. When they're feeling threatened or when the babies are in the burrow and feel threatened, they actually make a sound like a rattlesnake. And that wards off most predators. And for the babies, it makes their parents come back home to protect them. So if there's a fight between the owl and a rattlesnake, who's gonna win? Well, that's a tough call. A burrowing owl couldn't actually fight off a rattlesnake the way that a red-tailed hawk or a great horned owl could catch one, but they might be able to ward it off with their snake sounds and otherwise just um, do something that's called mobbing when they fly at a potential predator to just scare it off. Are they friendly with other owls of their same kind? That's a great question. I think good. So because many of their hosts live in colonies, burrowing owls tend to also be colonial. So they can nest just with one pair, but in the past they've actually had populations of thousands of burrowing owls in one place because we had such huge colonies of prairie dogs. Is it true owls can spin their heads all the way around? Well, they can't quite spin their heads 360 degrees all the way around. However, owls and other raptors can look completely over their shoulder. So Topper can turn his head um, from looking straight at you all the way to looking over his shoulder. It's about 140 degrees. Well, Topper's getting a little tired, so I need to take him home. But Jacqueline is ready to introduce you to another of our super cool ambassador raptors. I think you're gonna love it. Well, I'll be glad to see it. 
So what's the owl today? Who? The owl. Who? I'm asking about the owl. Who? <sighs> the owl says who? Says what? Who? What? Who? I don't get it. Good job. This is Rosie, and she is our non-releasable red-tailed hawk ambassador. Why did you guys name her Rosie? That's a good question. So we named Rosie Rosie because her beautiful red tail, that red-tailed hawks, which is her species, what they're known for. A little side note for you, red-tailed hawks don't actually get their red tail until they're about two years old or just before, once they become mature. So if you see a juvenile red-tailed hawk, they'll have a brown and tan striped tail. You know, I named my bathtub Rosie. Why'd you name your bathtub Rosie? Well, every time I don't clean it, I get a ring around the Rosie. We've had Rosie for 17 years. She came to us when she was only one years old, so she was a juvenile with a broken wing in her right wing, actually, in her shoulder. She can't fly well enough to be released to the wild, so that's why we have her. I think there's some confusion about velociraptors and raptors. Raptors are birds of prey. So it's a group of different birds that are predators and they're hunters and they have sharp hooked beaks and claw-like talons that allow them to hunt and eat other animals. So here at the Raptor Center, we consider hawks, falcons, eagles, owls, and vultures all to be raptors. So they lay eggs like dinosaurs? Yes, exactly. They lay eggs just like dinosaurs. Velociraptors are dinosaurs that were really small and fast that lived between 70 and 90 million years ago. And when paleontologists discovered their fossils for the first time in about the 1920s, they named them velociraptors, which that word actually translates to fast birds of prey, because anatomically or structurally, they're really similar to modern birds of prey, specifically that sharp hooked talon that velociraptors had in their hind foot. But velociraptors were always dinosaurs and raptors were always birds of prey. All birds have actually evolved from dinosaurs. So during the Cretaceous period, this is when most dinosaurs went extinct, there was a very small number of avian dinosaurs, basically bird-like dinosaurs of the theropod group of dinosaurs. So actually, T-Rex was in this group, but only the small theropods survived into the almost 11,000 species of birds that we have on our planet today. Did they evolve from meat-eating dinosaurs? Yes, they did. Velociraptors were meat-eating predators like modern-day birds of prey. So he only eats meat. These birds only eat meat. They cannot process anything else. So they are only able to digest raw meat. No veggies. Bird after my own heart. Right. No veggies. They must be similar to dinosaurs in other ways then. Some dinosaurs supposedly had feathers? Yes. Velociraptors and theropods definitely had feathers, and they're starting to think that perhaps all dinosaurs had feathers, as a matter of fact, although none of them actually use them to fly. Like chickens. Exactly. Well, chickens can fly a little bit. Yeah, chickens can fly if they need to. Penguins. Like penguins, exactly. Yes, to keep them warm, but not really for the function of flight. So they have hollow bones, like the Allosaurus. That's a very good question, yes. So really all flighted birds have hollow bones. So larger birds that don't fly and even smaller birds like penguins, birds that don't fly have fused bones that are filled with marrow and blood just like ours. But all birds that fly have hollow or pneumatic bones and their dinosaur ancestors did as well. So thanks so much for coming today. I hope you guys learned something new. We, we learned, learned so, much. so much. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Was that a rattlesnake? Or a burrowing owl? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Well, if we are, we're using your legs. My legs? It's not fair. Goodbye, thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, Park Ranger OB, you got your rocket fishing rod there, huh? Uh, yeah. I want to see how this thing works. Why don't you okay. give it a little launch out there in the middle of the lake to yeah. see if we catch some fish here today? Why don't you just get that baby all ready there? All right. Hey, okay, man. And... Fire! Ooh. Bad Whoa. Boy girl there. Okay, so you don't even have to know how to cast anymore, do you? Just okay. Reel it, in. Reel it on in. Yeah. Oh, we don't go too fast, oh, so yeah. you gotta nice go slow enough that the fish slow. can catch up to your lure. Oh, did I get yeah. anything? Yeah, nah, nothing on that one. Okay. All right. Why don't you give another try there, huh? Fire! Ooh, there's a good one there. You almost caught a bird with that one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Start oh, reeling yeah. that bad boy in there. This one's pretty heavy. Yeah. What? 
What? That's because I think you got something. Yeah, I got you something. You got something. What oh, slow it? down, oh, slow yeah. down. You don't want to risk losing it because it could yeah. be. It's a big one. I know it's just a Man, big, huge fish. It's going to be eating nice way. tonight, huh? Oh, yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Hey, what is that, man? Oh, wow, it's really heavy. Get that, it. Get wait, it, it looks quick. like a bottle. Wow. It is, is a that? bottle. Man, what's a bottle doing out well, there? Well, you know that happens sometimes. You caught a bottle, not a fish, so. Hey, what's that in the bottle? Wait a minute. I think open that's a note, up. man. I think you found a bottle well, with a note with a message in it. Let's open it up, okay? Oh, there we go. What is that? Okay, I don't know what that is. A cork. Oh, here, hold your hand out here and I'll give you the note. There it is. Oh, wow, what's that? Awesome, dude. Okay, yeah. open it up. Hey, it's a note. Oh, yeah. When you're cooking on a log and you gotta roast a dog, dino puzzle, dino puzzle. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. I don't think you read that right. You know what it sounds like? When you're cooking on a log and you gotta roast a dog, dino puzzle, dino <laughs> puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? That kind of sounds like that song that everyone's saying at dino school, you know? When you're doing something, something, and you gotta do the something, dino. No, 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 it's not that one. I don't no. think it's that one, okay? okay? Hey, you know what this is? What? It's a clue to a puzzle. That's why it says Ooh, dino puzzle. puzzle. Okay, let's when figure this out here. you're cooking on a log, and you okay. gotta roast a dog. Like, fire? Yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah, if you use a log, usually you've got fire coming out of a oh, log, yeah. right? Okay, so you're cooking over a fire, and you're roasting a dog. Oh, you don't well, eat we a don't dog. even have a dog. No, 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 no. Hot dog. That's Hot what you dog. cook over a fire on a fire yeah. log. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so where do we cook hot dogs? The fire pit. That's right, where we have our campfires. Yeah. Okay, quick, let's head to the fire pit and grab our stuff. Let's go to the fire. Wait a minute. It's Spinosaurus. Yeah. Quick, let's head for the fire pit before Spinosaurus gets us. Okay, Park Ranger OB, where's the campfire? Be on the lookout, cause you know there could be a dinosaur running around here somewhere. Okay, yeah, there we go. <gasps> What's that? Oh what? man, a sleepy dart didn't uh -huh. work. Okay, okay, okay. Man. Oh! Oh, oh, oh man. no! Oh no, you sleepy darted your leg, oh, dude. Oh, okay, all right, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, yeah, here, just kind of shake it off your. Hey, look! Oh. It's the campfire fire. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah. All right, look okay, around. So See if you see a note anywhere. Uh, okay. Hey, this reminds me, this little wick here, if we're gonna cook out later today like we planned, we should go ahead and get this fire yeah. lit up. So here we go. I just happen to have a lighter stick here with me. There we go. Let's light that baby up right there. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm not Wait going to. That isn't, no, 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 that, 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 that's the note. Put the note, yeah, oh, the clue. Oh. Get out of there. Ooh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Got it. Get out of there. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. Guys, put that away. They almost had an incident there. It's feeling kind of hot, and you want to spray a lot. Dino puzzle, dino puzzle. Wait, wait, let's try that again, okay? Get the proper mood here. Oh. When you're feeling kind of hot, and, and you, you want to spray, spray a lot, lot dino, dino puzzle, puzzle, dino puzzle. puzzle. Why do they have to make these clues so difficult, huh? When you're feeling kind of hot, like, you know, like hot? I guess. Like, yeah, it's a pretty oh, hot day hot. today, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, you want to spray a lot. Spray, like spray, oh, spray, thing spray, spray. spray? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, if you're hot, you want to probably like cool down, right? Oh, yeah. Where would we cool down with a spray? The water hose. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. let's take our clue and let's go to the water hose, dude. Yeah. Okay, here Make sure we go. you got your sleepy dart blaster ready. Oh, man. Gotta get going. Yeah, I know. Is that sleepy dart not worn no, off not yet? Yeah, I still have a little kick in it. A little kick in it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Is your leg still numb yeah. there? Okay, yeah, uh, you see any dinosaurs anywhere? I don't see any, okay. All right, man, where's the sprayer? Oh, okay, there here it is. it is, right here. Okay, all right, let's check out the old sprayer there. there. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, man. Oh. oh, you got me, dude! Oh, no! Sorry about that, Park Ranger. Oh, man, you got me there, Park oh, Ranger. Yeah. I'll be right, right across the across chest the there belly. and all up and down the arm and even got my armpit oh, and look everything. At what I Oh, hey, looky there. Yeah. Hey, I think that's the next clue. Yeah. Okay, when you gotta make a dash and your paper turns to ash. Dino puzzle, dino puzzle. Okay, okay, let's try again, okay. When you gotta make, make a, a dash, dash and, and your, your paper, paper turns, turns to ash, ash dino, dino puzzle, dino, dino puzzle. puzzle. Okay, man, why are these things getting so hard? When you gotta make a dash. Yeah. All I can okay. think about is if you gotta go or if you see T-Rex. Well, yeah, if we see T-Rex, but your paper turns to ash, when you gotta, wait, 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 wait. If you gotta go, oh, okay, okay. You gotta go to the potty, you know? And then the paper, you use the 
toilet paper and it turns to ash in our new incinerating toilet that burns up all the park ranger duty, you know? What? I didn't know we had that. Yeah, it's a brand new feature here at T-Rex Ranch. Hey, let's go to the inside to the toilet, okay? Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right, this so, is it, the incinerating toilet. Yeah, right here, okay? so this brand is the new. thing that burns all the business? Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Just turns okay. it all right to ash, okay? Okay, now all where's right. that clue? Look for a clue here. Clue? Clue? Clue. 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 Ooh, is there a clue in here? No, there's no clue, clue. in there. No. <gasps> clue! clue! <gasps> it's the clue! Yeah, yeah, but there's nothing on it. Well, well, peel off there, okay? Here, yeah, just take that thing. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, Don't yeah. want to rip it. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, wait, wait, hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, what's that? Looks like a picture. Picture. Wait a minute. Yeah? But That's they don't have pictures on it. <gasps> they do have pictures. Every one of them. Wait a minute. Dino puzzle. You're right. That's the puzzle. These yeah. are puzzle pieces. Quick, let's take it to the lab and see if we can okay. put it together. Come on. Okay. Okay, Park Ranger OB. You got all the clues there. Yep. All right, let's okay. see if we can figure so these things that out. that one goes there. Okay, that one goes and there. That right. one goes there. What? And then that one goes there. That one goes there. I don't think and that's looking right, look right there. Okay, let's try this. That goes like there. No. There. No, I don't think that's it either. Okay, oh, no. keep working on it here. I don't think you're. There's a head. Wait, wait. Oh then, yeah. Yeah, there's the body. Uh, wait, 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 wait. It goes wait. there. Oh. Exactly. Oh yeah, and that's up oh, there. That's definitely the. Goes there okay. and then. Hey, you got it. Okay, what is it now? A triceratops. Triceratops. Of course, it looks just like a triceratops. Okay, is this the end of the clues? Is it like the whole point of the puzzle was just to figure out this triceratops picture? I mean, that's, what's the point of that, you know? I know. What, what? Triceratops toy. Okay, look around for the next clue. No, I don't think that's it. Look, if it's not a picture and it's not a toy, there's only one other triceratops left. And that's the one out in the park. Uh oh. Let's go find Triceratops, okay? okay Maybe that's where go. the puzzle's leading us. Let's go. Okay, Park Ranger will be. We're getting close to the Triceratops paddock. Yeah. Better be ready, okay? Okay. All right. Ooh. Okay, yeah. You know, although I guess you don't really need sleepy darts for a Triceratops being a herbivore yeah. and all, but still, a Triceratops is sometimes kind of ornery, isn't he? He can be yeah. mad and mad. get cross with us, okay? Yeah. Right, so mad. look out, Triceratops. Okay. Where are you, Triceratops? Ready for you. Triceratops! Oh, yeah, there it is! Oh, man. Oh, that's just the sign. That is just the sign. It's not really Triceratops. Mm -hmm. What's that? Hey, there's something on that sign. Ooh, what is it? What is it? The Triceratops sign oh, yeah. has a bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that bag off there. Yeah, it's got a big old bag. Ooh, and there's a sign on the bag. Oh, yeah. Congratulations for completing the puzzle. Here's your prize! Hey, we got the prize! Yeah. We solved the puzzle. Yeah. <gasps> Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't know what it was. It sounded scary. Quick, let's go back to Dino HQ. We'll open it up there. Let's go. All right, okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here's the prize bag. Yeah. Let's see what's inside. I think we're safe now from whatever that was. Whoa. Ooh, there's a couple of things in here. Hey, wow. look at that. Wow, hey. Dino Monster Machine. Hey, those look like fun. Yeah. You know what, I bet we can do a little race right here on the patio, oh, okay? Yeah. Let's go try them out. Okay, let's go. So which ones do you have over here? Okay, I have Carnotaurus, Spinosaurus, and T-Rex. All right, and I've got a Pteranodon, I think that is, and then that's a Dilophosaurus and a Triceratops. Okay. You wanna race these bad boys? Yeah, so. All right, pull them up here. All right, here we go. Let's pull this bad boy back. Okay, oh, wait. count of three. One, two, three, go! Oh! Oh, oh yeah! You won that one, man! Well, okay, I'm gonna beat you this one. Best two out of three, okay? Go! Oh, oh, no. yes, oh, I won! Oh, man. Okay, it's tied up. Here we go. Come on, Triceratops, you can do it. You can Three, do it for me. Three, two, one, one go. go! Oh, oh no. Ooh, I won! No, I win! Yes! Okay, Parker and Joe you want to see what else is in here? Yeah! Okay, here we go. Let's see what's in Ooh. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I think it'd be best to open these in the lab, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go in the lab. Let's go. Do, 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 do. All right, Park Ranger LB, you ready to see what's in the surprise bag? Yeah! Okay, here we go. Okay, Mr. Revealed in three, two, one. Ah! Hey. Oh, wow. Looky there. Oh, cool. It's build a terrible T-Rex head and build a flying dinosaur. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, you know, I think there's uh, some almost like origami. Which one do you want to build? Ooh, I 
actually want to try the pterodactyl. Okay, I'll do the T-Rex. Let's put them together and see who ends up with a better build, okay. huh? All right, let's go for it. Okay, Park Ranger OB, we've got our dinosaur oh, cardboard origami oh, things yeah. all put together. Tell us what you got there. That's like a pteranodon, right? Yeah, and it can flap its wings. Oh, cool. It's like it flies. Hey, yeah. spin that bad boy around there so we can see wow. it from all different angles. And it's like its head is in attack mode, ready to yeah. attack, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, you know what you could do with that? What? Put a couple strings on it, hang it from oh, the ceiling. Yeah. Here's what I got. I got a big old Whoa. mean T-Rex head. Yeah. Ah, look at those teeth the T-Rex oh, has there yeah. and that big old tongue right there. Oh, that's okay. Awesome. So this has got a little wall plaque. So this can just be mounted oh, yeah. right on the wall for everybody to see back home, okay? Yeah. All yeah. right. You ready to take these uh, back home to the old Dino HQ and put them on display? Yeah. I don't really know which one turned out better, do you? Mine. I think it was a tie. It flap its wings. Okay, well, flap its wings on back to the old Dino Woo! HQ. Let's go. Okay, you'll get it this time. You just watch. Okay, Rexy. Circle. Circle. You did it. Good job, Rexy. Here's a tree. See? They're food oriented, just like me. Pretty cool, but, uh, how long have you been in here? Uh, I'm not really sure. What day is it? Yeah, you should probably go take a break. I'll watch the baby dinos. I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, they've been really mischievous lately, and that's why I've been trying to train them. But, okay, you can watch them, but just promise me that they'll take a nap soon, okay? No problem. And I'll just use my new gadget, the Dino Maki Talkie. And instead of just imitating people, it can imitate dinosaurs. Let me see. Oh man, I must have left it at the lookout. No problem. Don't you worry about it for one second, Park Ranger Asher. One Dino Maki Taki rescue mission coming right up. Now, you guys be good for Park Ranger Asher, okay? And don't you forget that lunchtime is nap time. Copy that, Park Ranger. Copy that? Lunchtime is nap time. Wow, that's very impressive. I should give Park Ranger Andy an achievement badge for his hard work. Wait, Brachiosaurus, Triceratops, T-Rex. Oh no, the baby bear Sorophis is missing. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Park Ranger Asher was right. I do feel better with the sun on my face and nothing to worry about. Certainly not those baby dinos, who I know are safe and sound. If I was a baby Pierceropus, where would I be? Hey, who threw that? Very mischievous. Maki Taki Mission Achievement. Park Ranger Asher, this is Park Ranger Andy. Come on in. Copy, I'm here. You okay? Sure. Just playing with the baby dinos. I mean, putting them to bed. Oh, good. Well, I have great news. I have found the Dino Maki Taki. That is great news. Thank you. You're not coming back yet, though, right? Take all the time you need. Hey, you know what? I do deserve a little break. All right, I am going to take some time. Park Ranger Andy, over and out. Ah. Well, let's see here. How does this thing work? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is fun. <laughs> Can't get into trouble with this. I'm a dinosaur! Oh, 
Roar! Roar! Two down, two to go. Gotcha! Three down, one baby pair of is to go. Oh no! It's a door! You know, when I get back, I'm gonna make sure those baby dinos get more fresh air and exercise. Too much time inside Dino HQ can make someone go a little <laughs> crazy. Oh, Wait a minute. I thought you were taking a nap. Hey, I guess not. Stay sleepy, little guys. I've got to find baby pair before Park Ranger Andy gets back. And that is my impression of a pteranodon on the duress. All right, well, fine. I'll give it a five out of 10 myself. But if you want to hear something really cool, listen to this. This is Park Ranger Asher's newest gadget, which perfectly imitates any dinosaur. No, 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 no it's okay, it's okay, it's all about make believe. In fact, the Stegosaurus is actually a very friendly animal. Now, how about some lunch? Was that my stomach or yours? I don't know if that's my stomach. Do I want to look? Here, baby Pharaoh. I got your favorite treat, popcorn. Well, I had your favorite treat. Oh no, Park Ranger Andy! Oh, 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 good thing I'm the Stegosaurus because the park ranger has his gadget. Oh, I should have been the T-Rex out and scared you away. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. I have an idea. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Science saved me again. Where'd my little buddy go? There you are. Doing here? Oh, um, looking for her. Sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I tried my best, but she snuck away when I wasn't looking. Well, that's okay. Like I said, they can be pretty mischievous. Luckily, they can also get tuckered out easily, too. Oh, one that's as good as me. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, you're so cute, aren't you? Our Granger Andy, because you did such a good job training baby dinos, I would like to give you the terrific trainer badge. No way! This is awesome! This is awesome! You know, I've never actually gotten an achievement badge before. Maybe it's the first of many. Yeah, well, maybe I'm going to get an achievement badge for finally getting my achievement badge. Do they have those? <gasps> How about this? I get a badge for coming up with the idea of giving out achievement badges for giving out an achievement badge. Yeah. <sighs> oh, maybe I get an achievement badge for going to sleep. I can do that. Oh. Who am I kidding? 
I can't sleep. I'm too excited. I go play with the baby dinosaurs. Where are the baby dinosaurs? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, well, that was hot. Are you okay, Park Ranger Asher? Yeah, but well, where are we? This doesn't look like the ocean. No, but. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see water over there. Hmm. I don't think so, Park Ranger Andy. It's probably just a mirage. Oh, a mirage? You know I do not speak the French. A mirage is an optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions, like extreme heat. Oh, huh. sounds like magic to me. You mean like this magical tooth that just transported us into the desert from T-Rex Ranch? Where have you taken us? I can answer that question. Hi. Who are you? I should ask you the same thing. I'm Park Ranger Andy, and this is my associate, Park Ranger Asher. Well, hello, Andy. Hello, Asher. My name is Rob, and you're in a magical place called Sharktooth Hill. Uh, Sharktooth Hill? We were trying to get to the ocean. That's true, but if sharks are here, that means the oceans can't be too far, right? Well, that's both right and wrong. Um, the ocean's miles away from here now, but we were once 800 feet below the ocean, and now we're at 800 feet above the ocean, and we are standing on an ancient seafloor. That's really cool. So maybe you can help us identify this shark tooth we found. It's way too big to be modern shark's tooth, right? That's correct. Well, I think I know what this is, but I think you would be better off going down to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. Down there, they'll be able to identify that properly. Go down there right now. Thank you, Rob. Well, you're welcome, but where is your car? I didn't see you drive up here. Would you believe a magical shark to transport us here? No. Hmm. Well, then I suggest you turn around. Okay. Okay, magical shark tooth. Please transport us to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. Whoa! about this magical tooth is a very convenient way to travel you can say that again let's go inside yeah let's say that again hey welcome to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History my name is Travis I'm a docent here which means I can actually take you around and show you the fossils that we have that'd be great a friend of ours recommended that we come here check it out so that's why we're here also, we found this shark tooth that we think might be from an ancient shark, and we heard that you might be able to help us learn more about it. Well, you've definitely come to the right place. We have one of the largest collections of Miocene fossils from this area, including a large collection of shark's teeth. How about I show you guys around? Yes! What do you do at T-Rex Ranch? Oh, we're park rangers! Park rangers? What kind of animals do you have? Well, would you believe me if I told you it was a secret dinosaur sanctuary? Uh, no. And I will mention it. All right, how about you guys follow me? Welcome to the Dinosaur Hall. I want to show you some of my favorite exhibits around here. You guys ready to go? Yeah. All right. Hey, look. That Ketakoala's got to be the oldest dinosaur I've ever seen. Yeah. It's bones or wood. Let's go learn something. Let's go. So do you know what this is? Yeah, 
that's a mosasaur, right? Yeah, correct. A lot of people think that this is a dinosaur, but actually it's related to animals uh, like lizards and snakes. Uh, one of its closest living relatives is actually the Komodo dragon. Uh, let's actually take a look at the skull right here, and I can show you guys how it's related. Um, if you look at the side of the bottom jaw right there, there's a hinge joint, and that actually allows the mosasaur to open its mouth wider to engulf uh, bigger prey. And just like uh, some snakes in the back of the jaw, you can actually see a second row of teeth. Oh, yeah. This is the same one that was in Jurassic World? Yes, this is actually about an average size for a mosasaur, which could be about 30 to 40 feet. But I can show you an animal that gets just as large as the animals that are in those movies. All right, let's go see it. So this is actually the femur of one of the largest dinosaurs that ever existed. Now the femur bone is actually the bone in your leg that connects from your hip down to your knee. And just by looking at this bone right here, you can see how big this animal was. Of uh, an animal called Argentinosaurus. He was actually one of the largest dinosaurs that ever lived. He could grow up to about 93 tons. It's way bigger than me. Yeah, it's way bigger than me too. So I have one more thing to show you guys. All right, all right, come with me. No, I'm here, damn, I would love a bone that size. All right, so what we have here is the skull of a Triceratops, and this one is actually a cast. Now, a cast is an exact replica of the original fossil. We don't want to put the original fossils on display because they are fragile and over time could probably fall apart. Did you know what the Triceratops skin looked like? Well, we actually know that. Uh, there's fossil impressions of the skin, specifically of the back, showing these large bony scales that have an attachment point for a quill, just like in a feather. Oh, so this is basically one giant chicken. Well, not entirely. Those feathers were not actually feathers. Think of more like a porcupine quill. Oh, that's worse. And if you look at the skull right here, you can see these deep grooves and impressions in the back of the frill. Now, these are where the blood vessels would have been. It's been theorized that Triceratops may have actually had a covering of keratin along its frill, which is the same stuff that your fingernails are made out of. And using that keratin with the blood vessels underneath, if it were threatened by a T-Rex, he could flush his face full of blood, making himself a brighter color and thereby intimidating the dinosaur. Uh, the horns may have been able to do that as well, as they were also covered in keratin, making them much larger in real life. We can actually tell the age of the animal based on the horns as well. We know that when Triceratops was a hatchling, the horns faced backwards, but as they matured into adults, they begin to rotate forwards. So how old do we think this Triceratops was? This one may have been a teenager. And how long do they usually live? Uh, well, for Triceratops, that's probably unknown, but based on other dinosaurs, we see that other dinosaurs can live up to 30 years. All right, would you guys like to see another Ceratopsian? Yeah. yeah. All right, then come with me. And here we have the entire cast skeleton, uh, not just the skull, the entire skeleton of a Chasmosaurus. A Chasmosaurus was a Ceratopsian dinosaur, which was a horned dinosaur, just like Triceratops. But Chasmosaurus lived much earlier than Triceratops. But as you can see, his frill seems much larger than what we were seeing on the Triceratops. And the name Chasmosaurus actually means opening lizard. And it comes from these big, huge openings in the skull right there. Now, you see his frill is a little bit larger than Triceratops, and so we believe that he may have had patterns like giant eyes on top of his frill right here to make himself look bigger if he was attacked by a predator. So we do actually have an augmented reality sandbox. Would you guys like to see that? Yeah! Alright, then come with me. Oh no! There's a Velociraptor behind us! No! <laughs> All right, so this is our augmented reality sandbox, and it can actually show you the formation of the Sierra Nevadas just outside of Shark Tooth Hill, where you guys were this morning. So imagine, if you will, that this is the ocean where Shark's Tooth would have been at. 80 million years ago, during the time of the dinosaurs, during the Cretaceous period, a fault actually would have subducted below the North American plate and pushed up the Sierra Nevada mountain ranges uh, with the heat of magma. So they were actually a volcanic mountain range. And we can actually illustrate a volcano by using this augmented reality machine. So we could build a volcano with the sand? Yes, you can. <gasps> oh, I 
you have time to wait for a volcano eruption like this? It could be half a million years. Let's move on. All right, so the fossils that we have here from Shark's Tooth Hill actually date back to 15 million years ago during the Miocene period. And if you take a look at this painting, this is what we think Shark Tooth Hill may have actually looked like at that time. So this area was all underwater millions of years ago? That's correct. And if you let me see your shark's tooth, maybe I can see which uh, shark it belonged to. All right, park rangers, what I believe that you have here is the tooth of an ancient megalodon shark. Of course. It was one of the largest sharks to ever exist. It grew up to 52 feet in length, and it could swallow an animal the size of a modern day orca within five bites. And it wasn't just uh, Megalodon that we had here. We had a numerous amount of different sharks that lived here, such as the extinct hooktooth mako, the giant mako, and even megamouth sharks. Wow, thanks for teaching us more about our shark tooth. It's hard to believe that it belonged to the biggest shark who ever lived. It's my pleasure. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Oh, you will for sure. Absolutes. Thanks. Oh, wow, that was fun, huh? I'm excited to have solved the Megalodon Tooth Mystery. Me too, but I'm hungry, so maybe you should head back to T Rex Ranch for some lunch. Yeah, T Rex Ranch. Magic of two. Take us to the best nearby pizza joint T Rex Ranch. Uh, I was hoping I was going to work. <laughs>